address the two other bills uh, that are on my desk, uh, which relate to the congressional redistricting. Uh, as you know, just in terms of background, the United States Constitution gives the Arkansas General Assembly the sole responsibility to formulate the redistricting plans every 10 years. If challenged, judicial branch weighs in, as they have done in the past, and reviews it from a constitutional standpoint. In terms of the bills that are before me that reallocates the population to four congressional districts, I am concerned about the impact of the redistricting plan on minority populations. <clears throat> While the percentage of minority populations for three of the four congressional districts do not differ that much from the current percentages, the removal of minority areas in Pulaski County into two different congressional districts does raise concerns. I could go through those statistics, but I will not at this time. I've been contacted by a number of people asking me to veto uh, the legislation. I've decided not to veto the congressional redistricting bills out of deference to the legislative prerogative and the political process but instead to let them go into law without my signature. This will enable those who wish to challenge the redistricting plan in court uh, to do so. I would add, just as a matter of historical background, in 1990, which is, believe it or not, 30 years ago, I was counsel in a case uh, joining with the NAACP in which we challenged jointly the congressional redistricting plan passed by the General Assembly at that time. While the court in that case determined the map did not violate the dilution section of the Voting Rights Act and the plan did not constitute intentional discrimination, I learned a lot from that experience. And I learned from that experience the real concerns of the minority population about their equal opportunity to have an effective voice in congressional elections. Fair and equal representation is necessary for the integrity and uh, the essence of our democratic process.